Hey guys, so here's a cute little spread that I've created that I really want to share with you guys. It's called the Getting Your Ex Back Tarot Spread. Now, I get so many questions with people asking about whether they'd, they will rekindle with their exes or not. Um, and I generally don't like to do these questions. Well, I like doing them. It's just, well, let's be honest, like most of us would like to be still desirable by our exes. And when that's not reflected in the cards, it can be a little hurtful. So I just hate being the bearer of bad news. So if you can totally handle honesty in this spread, go for it. If not, skip it. All right. So this is a spread that I've done um, for a client who's agreed to allow me to post their reading on YouTube. So let's jump right into it. This card represents um, how your ex feels about the thought of getting back with you. This card represents how he would react inwardly at the thought of getting back with you. This is how he would react outwardly at the thought of getting back with you. Now, this card is the most important card. Um, it represents your ex's final response to getting back with you. This card represents the action you would have to take to get your ex to agree to rekindle. And this final card is, well, for your greatest happiness, this is the action you would have to take towards rekindling, okay? All right, so let's get into it. So this position represents how your ex feels about the thought of getting back with you. The Page of Swords is a very suspicious person. Before they let anybody into their life, they're going to size you up and down, they're going to vet you. They're going to look for more information on you. They're not going to be just wel welcoming you with open arms. So how he feels about the thought of letting you back into his life. Well, for one, he's not open to it, but he would need more information. It's, the page is just someone who is seeking more information before they could really honestly trust you. So this is someone who has a little bit of trust issues. Like, ah, uh, I don't trust that. I don't trust getting back with you. I don't trust that would be a good idea. I'm not convinced. This is someone who is unconvinced that the outcome would be beneficial to him or her. So he would need a lot more information from you or some convincing to really accept that thought. Okay, now how he would react inwardly. So let's say you decided to call him and you were like, hey, let's get back together. Obviously, you wouldn't be so abrupt with it. You'd kind of, you know, smooth your way into it. Okay, so let's say that happened, right? This is how he'd react, the Knight of Swords. So far, another sword. And swords are very, they're in search of information and they're very sharp with their words. Now, the Knight of Swords is aggressive with his words. He's aggressive with his thoughts. So the immediate reaction would probably be, the inward reaction would probably be a curse word or a WTF, OMG, something sudden, something brusque, something probably you might not want to hear. Um, so he would probably be very upset and very um, kind of like he's charging toward you with his words. So I would, so far, not so great, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like immediate reaction inwardly is not so great. He's upset, probably cursing, probably saying some things you wouldn't want to hear. Now, how he would react outwardly. So let's say you saw him in person and you told him, hey, you know, I was considering, like, what do you think about us getting back together? So although this might be going on inside him, like, what the hell? Why is she even bringing this up? Like, we went through so much, blah, 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 blah. He, on the outside, he'd be pretty calm. Strength is about self-control and controlling your impulses and not allowing your emotions to take over. So he, on the outside, 
On the outside, he'll look really calm and collected. He won't look like there's much going on inside him. He'll look pretty, he'll look pretty calm from the outside, but that's really deceiving because on the inside, this is what's going on. Now the answer that you've been waiting for, what would be his response to you asking, hey, let's get back together? So this is the only reversal in this whole spread, as you can see. We have the sun reversed. Um, I'm gonna say no, but I'm gonna elaborate why. The sun kind of, especially being reversed, can give like three perspectives that I'm gonna give to you as to why he might say no. Or um, how he would approach answering your question. The first thing is when the sun is upright, there's clarity. Um, there's like, you can really see clearly the sun really sheds light on a lot of things. There's enlightenment. So one thing that you might experience is that if you were to ask him that question, like, oh, are you willing to get back together? He might, there's a chance that he might be really vague about the answer but that's because he may not want to hurt your feelings or either he's unsure. Whatever the case may be, there's a chance because this is reversed, you might lack clarity. You might lack um, enlightenment. There's vagueness and there's no, you just don't know what he's thinking. So that's one perspective. Like you just won't get clarity. And he might be dodging the question or so you never really get your answer, but because you don't get your answer, that's kind of your answer, if that makes any sense. Um, one more thing is the sun, when it's upright, there's so much energy, there's vitality. You know, the sun is about energy, but when it's reversed, there's a loss of energy, a lack of vitality. Um, people feel burned out so, there's a chance that he might be feeling uninspired by the thought of getting back with you. Like, mm, I, I just, I feel burnt out. I don't have the energy for this. Like, I put in so much energy before and I just feel like I don't have any more. You know what to give into this, in, to to give into this relationship. So I'm gonna pass just because there's just no more energy here. Another thing, one more thing that I might add is that when the sun is reversed, there's optimism. When it's, well, actually when the sun is, when the sun is upright, there's optimism. But when the sun is reversed, there's pessimism. So there's also a possibility that he's like, um, I, I just don't have an optimistic bone in my body that this could work out again. I just don't see it being a happy relationship. I, I'm just not inspired to get back with you. I just don't see this being a happy outcome. So those are three perspectives that you can look at as his response to you asking him, let's get back together. Now, what you'd have to do to get back with your ex. Honestly, um, looking at these cards so far, I would not advise you to, to even ask. But if you want to still give it a go, the King of Wands is someone who is very confident in himself. He has a lot of willpower. He goes for what he wants. He's a go-getter. But he doesn't... He doesn't beg, you know, there, there's, it's not from an emotional standpoint. It's from a fire passion standpoint. Like I'm passionate for you as opposed to, well, you know, I want you back. You know, let's get back together. I need you. That's not going to resonate with him, but a sort of passion. So something like let's travel together. Um, let's go on this great adventure like really, you'd really have to um, pander to that adventurous side of him to make him feel like, wow, yeah, I would definitely give this a go. So 
but you'd have to do it from a, um, like I said, a very lusty, passionate, adventurous, spontaneous, <laughs> spontan. What's the word? Spontaneous. <laughs> spontaneous. Okay, Jesus Christ, I can't get my words right today. <laughs> so you need to be spontaneous. All that good stuff to really win him over. Um, so you have to do it from that perspective of really getting him to feel like, okay, there's adventure in this. There's fun in this. As opposed to when I want you back. Okay? So the very last card is the three of swords and come on this is clear and this is the advice basically so the position is called um, for your greatest happiness this is the action you should take toward seeking reconciliation with your ex don't do it <laughs> it's gonna break your heart again i mean let's say you know you really win him over with your adventurous side and your your desire to just want to explore and really, you know, pander to that side of him. Let's say that works, you know, let's say let's say it does. And you get back with him. This is going to happen again. There's gonna be broken hearts and you're going to be hurt again. And look, if you're willing to give this another shot, go for it. You know, this is your life. But it's a clear, this card is a clear understanding of what you need to do in regards to this relationship as advice for your greatest happiness. This, The name of this position is for your greatest happiness. This is what you need to do um, in regards to rekindling. The three of swords is saying, make a clean break. It's over, let it go, it's going to hurt again, okay? So, uh, now that you kind of get an overall gist of what's going on in the spread, you can make your own decision about whether it's a good idea to approach your ex about rekindling. Okay, bye-bye.